Hello, welcome back to the Spider's Web, and today we're going to be doing Mandy Thompson. Yeah. This is her, and this is her backstory. Okay, so hopefully you've managed to pause that and read, give it a good read through. Let's get started with painting her, shall we? <coughs> okay, so now before we carry on, I am waiting for a phone call today. Um, I'm having trouble with my key to get me into the flat, so I'm waiting for the council to phone me up to let me know that they're going to be sending somebody out to sort it out for me. Because uh, uh, otherwise, I can't go out anywhere. Because I can't get back in. <laughs> Okay, so let's start now, shall we? And we're going to be doing our fleshy areas, as always. And it's not much really for her because she has her glasses on and she has her that uh, comes down over her forehead. But I think what we'll do, what we will actually do, is paint in the glasses as well just so we can differentiate different areas when it comes down to washes and highlighting so there we go, I do a neck And now her arms, well, it's for um, well, mainly wrist and hand, isn't it really? Rather than arms. There we go, so we'll keep doing this. I'm hoping my cough is a little better today. I don't have to keep editing this out. So though she has a bracelet on and is holding a pistol of some description. When I say pistol, that's a generalization for a handgun. I'm not uh, what you call it well up on the weaponry like that, so. I wouldn't know the difference between a pistol and a revolver. I don't know as it goes bang and the bullet shoots out from them. <laughs> okay, so there's her arms, face, and legs almost done. So this is the penultimate female figure we're going to be doing. Um, we want one more female and one male. Um, Fun Meiji, I think it was, has picked out two characters <coughs> for the next two videos. So we want. Uh, we're still looking for other votes for characters, um, but he's picked out. Um, Joe Diamond and who was the other one? Caroline Fern or Caroline Fern. So they're the ones that has been picked so far. If you prefer any others, please let me know. Uh, I'm looking for votes for which ones I'm going to be doing next. So as I say, let me know and we'll see what we can do. Okay, now we're her and we're going to do the base course for her in Scrag Brown. The flesh tone was done, I forgot to tell you, in Ungor flesh. So that was the flesh tone. Now we're we using, as I say, Scrag Brown for her her. Her 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 And we want to get all 
every little wave of her hair caught with this colour. I'm so tempted to do really bright lively colours because I think looking at the I'll show you in a second what I'm talking about but the way the model is it reminds me of that uh, the character from uh, Criminal Minds um, I'll show you what I mean in a second Do not think. Penelope Garcia. <laughs> it might just be me. Okay, so what do we do next? Well, she has a jacket over a dress. So we're going, trying to work from the inside out, as it were. So we're going to do the dress first. I'm going to go with the dark brown colour and it's going to be Rhinox Hide. I know I've been using this quite a bit, but as I said, the, the age that this game was set, there was a, a lot of the clothing was browns and greys and black. So really, there's not much of an option for the really bright colour schemes. But we're not going to be using the Rhinox Hide for this. Well, we are using the Rhinox Hide, but we aren't going to be using Neat's Rhinox Hide because we're going to be mixing it in with, um, I think what, just out of sheer, sheer silliness, a bit of Scorpion Green. To see what kind of colour we do actually get. that there we are and we apply to the model there we go I'm assuming it's a dress, it looks like one because there doesn't seem to be any uh, form of join between like a top and skirt. So I'm making sure all the visible parts of the the model is painted. Um, anything else not when I say the visible parts I mean the parts that are on view at all time because I want to make sure that that is done and covered next the final part of this I will go down um, to the base of the the moulding area for her dress and cover it then once I know what uh, paint we have left you see because if, if we hadn't have had enough to cover it I'd have just used um, Rhinox Hide neat for that part because as I say it's not vitally important that we get the exact same kind of mix ok we have a dark brown, brown dress and next We'll have, I'm oh, sorry, next we will do her jacket, <coughs> which, will, <coughs> which is going to be a pale cream. So for this we're going to use Screaming Skull. The paint you know I usually use for um, mixing with other paints to make the highlight colours or brighter colours um, 
also don't for also used for uh, bone areas and stuff like that. It's not one I tend to do a lot of painting with. Um, this I think is just going to be have the one coat. Um, and then base coated. Sorry, I'll start that again. I'm just be doing the base coat in this and then washed. I don't know why I said one coat and then base coated. I'm doing the base coat, that's going to be the one coat. One coat to base them all. Hmm. So. Okay, and I'll be a second. I've just got a phone call. And we're doing a jacket, aren't we? Yeah, we are. And now I've finished the phone call, that he starts whinging. One of these days I will be able to do one of these videos without disturbance. <laughs> that might just be wishful thinking, I don't know. But, never mind, let's crack on, shall we? It's Mandy Thompson we're doing in case you haven't, so if, in case you've forgotten. She's uh, some sort of researcher at the Miskatonic University, if I recall. Or rather, if I recall correctly. Tum -tum 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 -tum. Is uh, I'm wondering is how far are they going to go with this game? Are they going to stop with uh, Call of the Wild? Do you think, or uh, do you think they'll carry on and make some more? Because I would love to get some form of model of Cthulhu to paint up. I've been also doing some research. Speaking of painting the monsters, I've been doing some research on the monsters, and I'm saying that the actual hero characters, the investigator characters, are a bit shall we say, boring to paint because of the, of the muted colours but all the monsters in this game seem to be black looking at the, the actual descriptions of the monsters they all seem to be black so I'm going to have to take some, do some you know, some odd will use some artistic license on some of these because uh, I don't want them all black, it's going to look awful so I'll have to see what we can do with those and the Dirk Young model from um, the Call of the Wild expansion, that's got to be black, it can't be any other colour really and it goes with the name But I can do the others fairly dark colours, not necessarily however black. But we'll see how we go when we when we get to them. Right, so I want to get these uh, hero characters done first, and uh, the added advantage with these characters is that I can actually use these now in Elder Sign. instead of using the little cardboard tokens that you get it's going to make it a little more interesting playing give it a bit of a nicer look there we go that's uh, almost done and now we're going with the uh, the shoes, I'm going to be using a mix for a shoes of Balor Brown
and scrag brow. I just want to change the colour to try and get a diff completely different colour brown on the go for the shoes because I'm sick to death using the same ones. Okay, so that's more of a tan, paler tan than the scrag or darker tan on the ballo, so let's have a a quick give them a quick once over with this. The other one, and as per usual, I've mixed way more than I need. Although saying that, I've been trying to mix less and not mixing enough. So I suppose it's better having more than you want rather than less. But still, not to worry. We're sorted, aren't we? Hmm. Okay, so that's the shoes done, and next it's the gun and the um, torch that she's carrying. At least I'm assuming it's a torch. It's big, it looks like one. And for that, the colour we're going to be using is black. We're going to have a black gun, black torch. Um, So I'm hoping this is a torch. All right. And there's the torch done. I'm just going to put a bit on there, and now. the gun. What do you think of my skull, my skull, the new skull model? And the uh, the look to that video. Um, I've just got the Cyberlink um, oh, what can I, Power Director 12 I think it's called. And this take some getting used to. Um, so I'm going to I'll probably end up doing some short videos with that. When I've got any short videos to do, I'll probably do them with that, and then uh, go over again with. Um, or do the bigger videos with Windows Movie Maker, just so I can get used to using that system rather than the Windows Movie Maker. But uh, yeah, I'll see how we go. Right, flesh tones, Drucci Eye Violets. it for the moment and when we come back we can carry on with highlighting okay so the uh, wash is dried let's get on with the highlighting shall we and to start off it's our skin once more um, And we're doing Ungar, Ungar Flesh again. 
and we mix a bit of that in with our screaming skull to make it a paler colour that's how I like to do it rather than oh, just in case you're wondering I've been uh, cleaning out one of my pots my administration grey was looking just that little bit uh, caked up with um, dried paint so obviously I had to do something about that okay so just a little bit of water and next we have quick wipe over her if I, you're not going to see much of her face because it seems to be quite uh, what's the word I'm looking for not poorly moulded but very shallow uh, crevices so we're not going to see much in the line of detail from her face unfortunately um, do that and for her legs we'll just a few downward strokes just to make it look as though they are legs rather than tree trunks <laughs> Okay, let's use the uh, Screaming Skull to highlight her jacket, shall we? And I'll be using the same colour to highlight, but it works because we've darkened it up with the, uh, what do you call it? with the wash um, yeah, it does actually work if you add use the main colour because it's a light colour um, using it itself as the highlight colour to itself um, does actually work in this situation it doesn't work if you're doing dark colour, unfortunately. But as I said, because this is a light colour, it will. And as I said, well, and we're not going over every part of a jacket, we're just going over the areas that are going to be in light. And now what we're going to be doing is adding some Rhinox Hide. I think I'm going to have to get another pot of this. I've not much left. So we're getting the Rhinox Hide. The Scorpion Green. For her top, more well, for her dress rather. And then mixing that with again some of the screaming skull. A little bit of water just to get it um, flowing properly. And the top here, and now I 
and all we're doing here is just going over the folds um, the raised areas around the folds in a dress oh, yeah. and now we mix in just a, in fact let's mix in some white for a change shall we make it just a bit paler there we are okay so now we're going up here to just add a little bit of highlight in there and then what we're trying not to do here is cover every part of what we've just put down so we don't want we want this going over and showing some of the previous lots of paint that we've just put in okay so don't be too heavy handed with this this is this is the actual highlights you may be able to see a difference and again you may not on camera but believe me there is a difference there I can see it you can add more to this if you wish you keep going and keep going with highlights you can do as much or as little as you want as long, for me as long as it's good enough for tabletop standard it's good enough to use and what I'm going to do as well is with this colour I'm going to do with glasses Okay, next what we need to do is get some of the Balor Brown, lighten it up a little bit with the Screaming Skull, and that will be the highlight for her. And I've got a load of the Balor Brown on here, so I may just use a bit of it for the shoes. Okay, so we want as little on the brush as we can get and just waft over. Now we And we'll do exactly the same with the shoes. There we are, and almost finished. Um, I'm going to do the belt on her jacket as well with this colour. I've mixed too much so I may as well use it while I've while I've got it there. If I can find any more work and use it, I'm gonna use it there. <laughs> okay. So that's that bit done. And now it's just a case of a slight dry brush over with bulk gun metal or iron breaker. Once I can find it. 
area. It's a very small amount on the brush. And we just do that. Do that. There we go. I'm just going to wipe that a little bit because I don't want too much on the top of that. There we go. And there she is. Mandy Thompson. I'm also going to just touch a little bit of this onto the belt buckle and she's also if you remember wearing a bracelet so I will use this as the colour for that There we are. This is not a great deal of uh, force, but if you can see it there, then it just adds that little bit extra. Okay, so there is Mandy Thompson. So with these characters, there's not a lot of, um, what's the word I'm looking for? There is not a lot of painting to be done. It's very very simple to get through, but and I said because there's 14 of them all together so far, I don't really want to do every one of them on camera because it's just going to be a bit long and drawn out. So, next time, if we don't get any more uh, suggestions it will be Joe Diamond Joe Diamond or Carolyn Fern there we are so that's your choices for next time so far if you don't want one of those being done then please feel free let me know which one you prefer there are going to be um, what you call it they're going to be photographs at the end of this video so you can take your pick okay so until next time as always take care god bless and bye for now <laughs>